What's up guys, I'm ICZHD, and welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. And, uh, I've actually done a lot since I left off, and, what, did I say what episode it was? Oh, I think it, I think it's like 22 or something like that. <clears throat> but yeah, welcome back, and I finished my little, uh, my character up there. Did I mess up? No, I didn't, okay. But, uh, yeah, I finished them, and I'm actually <clears throat> recording with, uh, something new. I'm not sure if you guys can notice, but, um... I'm using XSplit to record. The file size is much, much, much smaller. So much smaller than uh, Fraps. But the frame rate gets uh, a little low sometimes. And that is the only really bad thing. I mean, you may, you guys may not be able to, uh, to notice it, but I can. And it, it's really not a bother for me. I just don't want it to be so bad that it's unwatchable, which I don't think it's going to be. But anyway, yeah, let's, let me get back to it. And I finished my... Um, guy that I've been working on for like the longest time. I mean, I stopped working on him, but uh, yesterday I just decided to finish him, and I did. I'll show you guys around it. This is the back. I mean, it's not exact, but who said it, uh, who said it ever has to be? Here, I'll, let me take off my armor and show you guys. Okay. As you can see, it's almost... It's almost right. It looks pretty good, though. I think I did a pretty fucking beast job, though. Alright, that's that side. Let me see if I can throw out something. No, I'll just put my helmet back on. Okay. Go over here. And... You can't really see it, but that's what my the front of my character looks like. Get a good picture of him real quick. Alright, pretty good. And that's what he looks like. Pretty similar. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, let me come up here to show you guys. Give you guys a better view. I forgot that I didn't have my boots on. That was close. Okay. I use these things a lot more now. These uh, ender pearls, really helpful. And I get kind of lazy sometimes, and I just throw them whenever, like say, say if I'm like so close to something, like say if I want to go like right there, I'll just throw one. But uh, yeah, it uh, looks pretty good, I think. And he is hollow on the inside, but I just haven't made, I haven't made a way to get in there yet. So yeah. And what else have I done? I've done a lot of mining. I know that. I wonder if I can take off this texture pack. Seems to be about the same. I'll just put it back on then. And yeah, I do have a, uh, whatever that is, what is that called? The X-Ray, um, texture pack. I was doing that for a, uh, for a server that I was playing in. And, yeah. And I finished, uh, this little farm right here. Actually, I do seem to be lagging. Let's take it off. But yeah, I finished, um, my melon farm. And it looks like I can press it, so here we go. Make sure they all come out. Pretty good amount comes out. I think if, if I just had like 15 or 20 rows of it, how many would come out? That would be insane. And yeah, I get a pretty good, pretty well good amount. Alright. Yeah, move on. And I filled this in. This used to be cobblestone, but I filled it in with uh, stone brick. So it looks a lot neater. I'll just come up here and put that in there. Anything else? No, okay. A 
I've also been playing a lot of War Thunder too. I might, I might, um, I might record some of that. I really like War Thunder. War Thunder is so fun. Well, at least it is for me. I'm really good at it. Um, black wool, everything. What about the blue wool? I need to put everything else back in here. Used up a lot of my wool for that project, but it's alright. Uh, put away some dirt and some bricks. <coughs> and where's the bricks at? I think I put my bricks down here. Yeah. And I have a lot of clay too. And I think. No, I don't have the snapshot. Never mind. Oh yeah, and <clears throat> I have a looting sword. And while I was playing offline, I went back to the Nether and got some more um, heads. I got three, and then I just left. But yeah, I have three. Um, what are those things called? Wither skeleton heads, wither skulls. And yes, yeah, so I can make another uh, wither whenever I want to and fight them. But uh, I haven't decided when I want to do it yet. And let me just do this. Okay. I use these things for everything. I have so many. Over here. Make sure I didn't mess up the ground. And I think these are carrots. And right there is potatoes. I'm getting a lot of supplies. I wish it was kind of like, um, what is that mod called? Um, I can't think of that mod. Um, <clears throat> equivalent Exchange Two. I wish it was like that. So where uh, you can you can make a energy condenser and basically like trade whatever you have for kind of whatever you want. But in Equivalent Exchange Three, they don't have that, which sucks. But I'm not. I'm probably not going to get equivalent exchange anyway. I have too many mods installed, and for some reason I can't get Optifine. I switched back to uh, 1.5.1, and I can't get um, Optifine. It just crashes for some reason. I don't know why. And I thought it'd be, um, what is that? I thought it would be like compatible, but it isn't. I guess. Go to sleep. Oh, I don't think I... This is the same armor? Oh, no. I uh, made diamond armor and I um, enchanted it. So I got protectual, projectile protection 4, respiration 3, projectile, projectile protection 4, thorns 2, protection uh, 4, feather falling 4, and protection 3. So I'm like all geared up and everything. And I enchanted a pickaxe. Well, I didn't enchant it, but I named it. It's called uh, Mio... Me old go go digger. <laughs> I was gonna name it um Me old gold digger, but I don't know, I felt go go digger was better. And am I in a difficulty? Alright. And uh I don't think I said I don't know if I said it this last episode, but this is where the um stuff stops working, right here. And feed these guys. And I'm working on getting a new uh, processor 
and motherboard for my computer so it can run a lot better on like on DayZ and everything and maybe if I record like this uh, using XSplit because it very is processor in intensive it uh, is a lot actually whoa I was not expecting that to happen Okay, that was really scary. That was really scary. Wow. But, uh, yeah. I forgot what I was even talking about. Oh, yeah. I was, uh, planning on getting... Not planning on, but, uh, I'm... I'm thinking of getting a new processor and motherboard. Just so it can run a lot smoother. See how much stuff I get. Because, uh, the processor that I have now, I mean, it's good, it's a quad-core, 3 gigahertz, I overclocked it to, like, 3.37 or something, 3.34, but it, um, it's not, I can run DayZ, but I only get, like, 30 frames, most of the time, not even 30 frames, and that's pretty crappy, that's really crappy, so, uh, in order for me to get a new, um, processor, I have to get a new motherboard, because my motherboard right now can only take AMD 3 or AM3 and uh, most good processors are AM3 plus so I can't I can't get an AM3 plus because they're not compatible with my processor or with my motherboard I mean I could get a new um, <clears throat> I could get a new motherboard first but that's like a hundred around like a hundred hundred and twenty dollars but in order for me to get a new processor, I need to get a motherboard first anyway. But when I get a new motherboard, it's not going to make a difference if how how fast and how smooth my uh, game runs. Because you're not increasing, like you're not getting a new, like faster chipset or anything. It's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to explain what I'm trying to talk about. But hopefully you guys get it. There's one melon. Okay. Oh yeah, I don't think I showed you guys this last time, but I put iron bars around here, and I put glowstone, makes it look all nice, makes it look all nice. And the reason I, why I didn't put any stone brick up there is because it is the ground up there. It's like uh, ground zero, gra not ground zero, uh, ground level. And if I put stone brick up there, it wouldn't look right. If it was just, if you come up here and you see stone brick on the ground, it just looks kind of stupid. I haven't checked on this in a while. I don't think I ever showed you guys my cactus farm that I have. Let me get up there. I'll just end the episode. About right there. And this is the cactus farm that I made. Doesn't really get much cactuses. Can't really complain anyway. Doesn't matter to me. And yeah, this goes down here. The cactus flows. Actually, hold on. That cactus just falls right there. But anyway, it comes down here. And it straightens out to go in the hopper. Down there. And yeah, so if you guys uh, enjoyed this episode, please give it a like. I'm um, sorry if there was any lag whatsoever with uh, while I was using XSplit. It's the first time ever recording with XSplit. And yeah, hopefully this file size is really small, small enough to render pretty fast and stuff like that. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're new to this series, you just uh, like clicked on this video wondering what it was, then uh, please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this episode and you want to see more. And yeah, so uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'm ICZHD. Peace.